Hey y'all, welcome. Today we have my monthly favorites. It is March, March already. <sighs> okay, I have a lot of favorites, you guys. This is gonna be a lengthy one, so buckle up, <laughs> grab a drink, and let's get to it. I feel like I'm really bright, guys. Is that better? I feel like I feel like I was really, really bright there. Okay, so my most favorite product for the month of February has got to go to this Anastasia brow freeze brow styling I know it's this styling wax you guys for your brows and it's my favorite product like in my wildest dreams I would have never picked this product but I really love this product it is the most crazy product there's a ton of product in here if you can tell it is just clear sticky stuff <laughs> it reminds me of just it's literally like jelly stickiness and I absolutely love it because it works it doesn't flake it's fantastic and I'll kind of show you here just I mean I have it on but we can add a little bit more just to show you so you just go like this and it literally sticks up your brows. You can add a little bit for like a little hold, <laughs> or you can add a lot for a lot of hold. <laughs> really, no, seriously. If you add a lot, your eyebrows will not move. It, they will freeze. But just a tad will do. A dab will do. The dab will do you. And I really like this stuff. It's fairly, I think it's pretty well priced considering what it does and considering the product is I think it's like 23 or 24 dollars can't don't quote me don't quote me I'll link it below if you are interested but I really like this I've been using it every day I think my brows look like really well groomed considering I haven't had them waxed in over a year <laughs> don't tell anybody that's our secret okay so <laughs> anyways that is my favorite product let's move on I have to say this is a fairly new purchase for me but I am I mean, the tones, the shades, just a review is coming, I promise. This Dior Quint. Ooh. Grand Ball, y'all. Grand Ball, y'all. I love this Quint so, so much. This is the most gorgeous palette. I mean, look at that. This, I have one shade on my eyes, y'all, and I've been wearing it for eight hours. Has it been eight hours? Yeah. Look how well it stays. It is absolutely stunning. Just one shade. You can use all shades. You can use one shade. It just goes. It just goes. <laughs> it's amazing. It's beautiful. Sparkle yet subtle and sophisticated and luxurious all at the same time. And it's like everything you want in a palette. Everything I want in a palette. You may not like it, but I do. I love it. <laughs> I have a new love. <laughs> Sicily has done it again. They really have, you guys. Sicily has blown me away with these particular blushes. This is in the shade Rosy Fuchsia. And this one is in Rosewood. This is my newest one. Rosy Fuchsia, you've probably seen me wear a few times here. This one I just got, and I just have got to show you because I have it on now, but I have got, I just got to show you a little bit more. So, it's gorgeous now there's a difference i will say not all formulas of this new blood not all shades are made the same in this new blush formula this one here is very different than the golden rose this golden rose if you can tell this golden rose here, guys, has got some shimmer and shine to it. See it? It's not bad, but I prefer on my cheeks this more, almost like this subtle glow that's not shimmer. It's not the shimmer. It's just like your cheeks, but better times a thousand. It's so and it blends like a dream. They're pigmented. Don't need a ton. They're really pretty. Now, 
I would say this formula is special. This one, the Golden Rose one, to me, is not as special. I'm just saying. Like, I feel like this I could recreate with a different form. Like, this formula, it seems similar to others that I've tried. Whereas this one, with this kind of real soft, just uh, blurring effect of glowing goodness, <laughs> This is unique. So just to let you guys know, there are differences and they're significant to me. So if you're looking at them, I would definitely look at which shade has which formula. Y'all, okay, this is an oldie but goodie, but I cannot stop, can't stop, won't stop. This NARS concealer, I think you've seen me use it way too much, but it's just NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, and I, it just does the job. I have mine in the shade Ginger Medium 2, and that is good for my skin tone. I won't necessarily highlight under the eyes with that, but I will touch up, and I really like it. I really do like this a lot, and it's really nice. All right, I'm kind of jumping all over the place with the way we apply this, but that's okay because it, I'm not applying it. <laughs> Shantakai's Cushion Foundation is so good, and it's been a favorite of mine. I will say, it just makes your skin look beautiful. It's just gorgeous, and I love the packaging, but I like the fact that it feels good on the skin. It covers, yet it doesn't look cakey. It is probably like a light to medium coverage, probably more medium, and it's just a crazy formula to me. It's very unique in the fact that you're applying it, you're applying, you're like, this is not even doing anything to my skin. What a waste. Like, that's what I thought at first. I was sitting there going, why isn't this working? But I just kept, I just kept patting it in, patting it in, and then all of a sudden, like within two to three minutes, I looked at myself and I'm like, it's blurring. It's making my skin look radiant. It looks so good. <laughs> what is happening? It's the foundation. It is very wild how it works. And it's unique in the fact that I don't have another foundation like this. So I would say that this is very, very nice. And I have thoroughly enjoyed using this. I haven't even hit my second cushion yet, you guys. And I'm on... What is this? I got this in November, December, January, February. This is month four. Not bad. Ooh, let's do another eyeshadow palette. Suku. I purchased, I think, four of the new palettes. This one by far is my favorite. The first love was this one. This is number three. You guys, this was my first love. I have a full review on this one. It's just beautiful. It's stunning on the lids. You know, it's this color palette that's neutral, very easily reproduced, but the formula is what's so unique. It blends like a dream. It looks beautiful on. It takes no time at all to create a look. Similar to the Dior, I feel like the formulas are very different. Don't, you know, don't get me wrong. They're not a, I would not put them like side by side and say they're the same. That's not the case. But I feel like they're similar in the fact that they have the shimmer topper and then they have really pretty shimmers and the color story just jives. It jives. Oh, I have the side part, you guys. I'm like totally showing myself right here. <laughs> it jives. I have a side part and I have skinny jeans on. So. Another product that I really, really like is this by Guerlain. It's the Youth Watery Oil, and I like the sample so much, I bought a full, a full size. <laughs> and this isn't like their biggest size. This is, I think, a 15, oh my goodness, 15 ml. But I like it as kind of this moisturizing, yet not super oily, yet I feel like I have a little bit of oil. I think sometimes for me, if I use an oil, I'm worried that it's going to be too much or too heavy but this isn't this isn't at all and it sinks right in i can put it on before my makeup and it looks beautiful oh shantakai they did it again <laughs> i am adoring this lip chic 
This is their Spring Clover Lip Lip Chic. I have a full review of the Spring Collection coming. Actually, funny enough, well, it wasn't funny, but what had happened was, is I received the Spring Collection a few weeks ago, and um, I purchased it, it came in, and one of the actual pans in the palette was completely shattered. So I just received a new one in the mail, so I will be reviewing that soon here on the channel, so be on the lookout for that. But this Clover shade, it's fabulous. And Chantecaille's Lip Chic Formula, you all, y'all, <laughs> you all. That is my favorite formula. I love it. Y'all know I love Patience. I have a more. They are just the best lipsticks on the lip. And quite frankly, I will say this, the new Bobbi Brown, these are, this is what I have on right now. This is in, this isn't the right shade. I have two of them. I have Honey, which is this shade here. And I have another shade. Oh, right in front of me. This shade is called Cranberry. Now I have Cranberry on right now. These are so cool. Like you pop them out and they come out the bottom like that. And they're like little, almost like a tinted lip balm. But when you put them on, they feel amazing. And the color is so beautiful. It's very flattering, I think. And you don't even need to use a lip liner. I've been using these too. I really like them. So I don't have the, the name's not on here, like the full name, but I'll link them below for you guys if you're wanting to take a look at them. These are by Bobbi Brown. So I just bought two just to see if I like the formula, and I really do. Talk another, I have a couple of foundations. I have a couple of foundations I'm really liking. I really like the Air Flash. Y'all saw this. I really enjoy using the Air Flash. It's, I have mine in three in. It's just a good staple foundation if you want to look really nice. I mean, just flawless. This by Kira Weiss has been actually quite surprising. I really have loved this foundation. There are a few things that I would change about it, but overall, I think it's very nice. I do think I need to powder with this, which I don't necessarily dislike, but just an FYI, if you are an oilier skin person, this may be a little too much hydration and you may need a little bit of powder with this. I am normally dry and if I'm saying I need a little powder, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. This Danessa Myricks Ballet Slippers, the most perfect shade, guys. And it's so pigmented, you can use it on your lips, your cheeks, and I think your eyes, actually. But oh, this shade is just like the most beautiful terracotta shade. Isn't it gorgeous? And a little bit goes a long way. Like, look how beautifully that blends. This is absolutely stunning. I love a lot of Danessa Myricks products and I'm so excited that she came to Sephora and we can try, you know, hopefully more and more of her products will be in Sephora, but I do, I'm really excited about that. My best friend got me hooked on this Manuka Honey Lip Balm. Now mine is in Vanilla Latte. She has a different shade and she says it's better. <laughs> I'm like, or different scent or fragrance. I don't even know. She says that she's like, I got a better one. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> she's been my best friend for how many years now? Almost 20. I don't know. A long time. So this is the Oily Lip Balm. And it's a Manuka Honey Lip Balm. It's in Vanilla Latte. It's not, you know, it's just your standard lip balm, but it's not sticky. It feels good. It's hydrating. It lasts a pretty good long time. Mine is in, yeah, it's definitely like vanilla -y, vanilla latte-y. I just rubbed that in. I don't know if you can tell. It's so nice. And it's a great, like, like this is another good throw in your bag. Y'all know probably I like throwing your bag type products. It's just really nice. And I like that it, you know, has, you're not having to stick your fingers in a tub. Like, say this was a lip balm, you know, sticking your finger in it. I don't like that. Especially if you're on the go, that's just nasty. I'm just very conscientious about that kind of thing. 
Okay, let's end with some of my brushes. I I invested in a few brushes. Now y'all know if you missed it, Jennifer from Alfeisty and Lexi from Lexi Jong, we all had a live together on brushes. I've, I learned so much from that. But with that came all. <laughs> and I have thoroughly enjoyed so many brushes that I bought. And a lot of them were inspired by Lexi and Jen's recommendations, I will say. I may need another one of these. This one in particular, it is so cool and it works so well. It's the Chica, Chica Hodo F05 brush. Now, I didn't know if I would like this brush just for the fact that this, this is an eyeshadow brush, y'all. And the hair is super long in comparison to other, other brushes that I'm used to using. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, for example, this is, and they're shorter. Look how much shorter this is. You see, but look, see the hair length compared to say, this is a Sonya G jumbo blender. See, I didn't know if I would like that, but I do like really love that. I've been loving that brush a lot. Two more brushes that I really, really have loved are these by Sonya G. This is the face one, and I didn't know if I would need this brush because I had the smooth buffer, and they are similarly similarly shaped, but you see this one's bigger in diameter, and I have uses for both of them. I use this one with my Guerlain Meteorites, which have also been absolutely my favorites as well. These are the pearl glow ones. These were out for spring. I don't know if they're still available. But these, like I just use this and I swirl it in the pearls. But this, okay, hold on. I'll just give you a little rundown. But look, see how well and evenly this distributes? I mean, oh, they smell so good. If you don't like scented stuff, you would not like these. But I think they smell divine. One other brush that I'm really loving is this F01. And it's so soft. I, I cannot remember for the life of me. I'm sorry. What kind of hair this is. I'm so sorry. I'll leave it down in the description box. It's amazing. And the cool thing. Look what I did, guys. Do y'all see this? It says Just Glow Firefly on it. <laughs> I know. It's just so awesome. Ah, uh, It's awesome. It just, I don't know. It, I love it. I really do. It's just, I really love how this applies. This gets right here. You know, it's a great powder brush for me. And I've just really enjoyed using this. And I love that it's has just glow firefly on it. Just special. All right, y'all. That is it. I know a lot, but I had so much fun trying these products this month. Let me know what your favorite products were for the month and what you enjoy. I really appreciate you guys being here. I'll leave my latest video right here just in case you missed it. And I will see you soon. Bye, y'all.